So everyone, today is cooking with my daughter. Yeah. Don't look at me like that. Type shit. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Neka Michelle. You all call me Lady Neka. If you've been following me on Instagram and TikTok, you know that our main dish is fashion, lifestyle, and travel because traveling is educating yourself. I am a Nigerian born and raised mother to three teenage girls, meaning in this household, food consumption is on top of the roof and hormone is running wild, but we are dealing with it. In this episode, we are going to cook okra soup and fufu together because the family that cook together stays happy together. Fufu is a widely known traditional food for Africans mostly and um, in my tradition we have different type of soups that goes with fufu you can make okra soup you can make oha you can make bitter leaf you can make open salad different kind of soup but today we are choosing to make okra okra is filled with vitamins and this means we are cooking healthy mostly vegetable okay if you've got your apron just bring it out let's go right to wait but before i start i want to say a big thank you to all the family members that has been following me through this journey and supporting i do not take it for granted if you are new here do click on that subscription button and also the notification button like comment and share the video so that we grow together because the family that grow together stays happy together let's get to it what you'll be needing is your okra you can get okra in any asian or african shop bell pepper mushroom your onion your chicken i have prepared this chicken already in my case i love to put a touch of obono in my okra soup this is a traditional one you don't need it it's optional this is mackerel smoked fish you can get it in any grocery shop do not forget your habanero pepper we need it that soup has to be spicy all right and this is the magic this is called ogili okay in my language in my accent is called okay ogiri this is the magic in nigeria all nigerians know that my mom brought this for me, but this is optional. You can only work with what you've got, okay? Any vegetable leaf of your choice. In this case, I am using um, pumpkin leaf. My mom brought this for me when she was coming to visit. Alternatively, you can use spinach leaf. Maggie, of course we need pot. With no pot, there is no cooking. So let's get to it. Now we are going to start up by steaming our chicken. And what we need for that, we need our habanero pepper, which I'm about to blend right now. Uh, we will cut, prepare our onion, salt, and maggi. I will add a little bit of water here. We are going to slice the onion. I like to slice my onion in cubes. done turn on your cooker now we are going to start to cook chicken is there already clean your chicken really good you need to clean your chicken really good before you start cooking because we do not know what they used to preserve it i use vinegar and citron sometimes to clean my meat onion put in your onion you may go ahead and put the habanero pepper and you toss in that maggi very good do not forget your salt you have to put salt with fillings 
I learned cooking with feelings. I didn't learn by measuring the amount of stuff that I put, but I do it with feelings. So if you are used to cooking with measurement, then put a teaspoon of salt, okay? But it depends on the portion. Now you may go ahead and cover the meat. While the meat is cooking, we will go ahead and prepare our okra because we are going to cut the okra. We are going to chop it, okay? So let's go to it. Normally I put vinegar, but my vinegar is uh, finished. I forgot to buy one, so I will wash with salt, lime, and now let it sit for two minutes. We will get rid of the first water we used, and we fill in new fresh water. At the same time, we will be checking our meat. So, we will just go ahead and bring it out. Maybe I do this for my fillings, just to have the feeling that, okay, it's clean. I've done my best to clean it. So, And now my daughter is going to help me to chop the okra. Your claw. We will go ahead to fill up the chicken with water. Reduce the heat. And let it cook. And now my daughter is going to help me to chop the okra. Your claw. And here is our girl. <laughs> Cut it well. Yeah, I am. Do, 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 do. No, uh, no. You have to do it like this. You, what is this? What are you wasting it for? Sorry. Let me help you. How is it going? How is it going, lady? Good. Like, look at how many I'm carrying. Yeah, I'm taking. Yeah, good for you. Like, look at what you just cut. Like, how many minutes now? You're still cutting that thing. Oh my goodness. Hurry up. Four. Let's see. Let's do the marathon. Pour this one. Let's see. If I finish before you, you will wash the plates. You will clean no. the kitchen after after no. cooking. No, no oh, don't wait, start. Wait. No, don't start yet. So let's go. One, two, go. You're not done. No, you're not done. before me. I did. No, you are I going did. to clean the kitchen. You... I finished before you. No, you didn't. I did. You did not. I did. You did not. The camera is here. You did, I did not. Fun. I did finish before you. No, just go, 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 go. Thank you. Thank you. You will clean the kitchen later. <laughs> We will clean the mushroom the same way we cleaned okra, okay? For the pepperoni, we are going to blend. I'm going to blend this ogre with pepperoni. Our meat is still cooking. Now we will blend the pepperoni with ogre together.
you want, you want to go ahead and put it over here. Go ahead and blend the almond with water. After you have blended the obono, you also put it in here so that they will all cook together. You remember our fish? We are going to add the fish now. More salt. Do not forget your crayfish. We need crayfish. How I store my crayfish is already blended. My mom brought them for me, but you can buy this in any Afro shop and then you just blend it with your blender. But my mom prepared it already for me, so I always store it like this. Two spoons is what I add. And now you let everything cook. While it is cooking, we are going to continue preparing the vegetable. Clean the washroom now. I'm going to prepare it. Rise it into the portion that I want it to be. Now that this is cooking together, it's already giving what we need. The obono thickens the soup, okay? It's a bit slimy, but I love it like that. I don't like too much meat, that's why I did not. You can put any kind of meat. And now we will be needing our wok. Do you have wok? This. Like this, this wok of mine, it has been helping me in everything. So. We'll be needing a little bit of palm oil. Alternatively, you can use uh, your vegetable oil. I just need a little bit. Let it melt. A little bit of salt, onions. Steam that onion. You may now go ahead and put your okra because I love my okra to be fresh and not overcooked that's why I prefer doing it like this add a little bit of salt You may also go ahead and put your sliced uh, mushroom. Stir everything together and look at it. We may now go ahead and mix everything here. and mix it together. I will go ahead and put my vegetable leaf. Let's check if there is enough salt. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I might add a little bit more, just a little bit. We'll cover it, let it cook for two minutes and we are done. And while this is cooking, we will prepare water for fufu. Get yourself your pot. This is the amount of water I will be needing for fufu. I will let the water boil. And I think we are done here. This is looking yummy. This is looking We are done with soup. Okay, we are almost coming to the end of this uh, episode. The soup is ready. We have to turn our fufu. We have to prepare fufu. And what do I need for making fufu? Water is boiling already. I need powdered yam. You can buy it in any African shop. 
You can buy it in any African shop. I use this and uh, grease meal. I need grease meal. I mix both of them and that's how I get a very good uh, fufu. A very good fufu. Not that one you people are doing. You better watch this one. This is the tricky part of it, okay? So, as you can see, water is boiling. What do we do? You need a whip. I use whip. First of all, you start off with grease meal. Pour it gently while you stir, okay? Gently pour and stir at the same time. Gently pour, not everything at the same time. You have to pour and stir at the same time so that you get a very good cons uh, consistent, uh, what do they call it, uh, whatever. And then you let it, you keep stirring. Yes. It's really hot. Keep stirring, keep stirring. Non stop. So now we have stirred. We do not need the whip anymore. Now you need the wooden stick. You need your wooden stick and you start to stir. Okay? You see how it is turning? Now, we will go ahead and put our pounded yam. This is pounded yam. You start to stir. You need to hold it. You have to stir it. Do you see it? Do you see? Oh, this is so lush. It's so lush. Ooh. Okay, we have what we need now. I have this, this is the traditional way of dishing out fufu in my country. You need this, we call it oko. Is um, you see how flat it is? You see how flat it is? So it's really good in dishing out fufu. You get your plate. So this is the portion that I need for three people. When you are done, you just pour water in the pot. We may go ahead and dish out the soup. And here you have it. 
Voila! And this is Accra Super and Fufu. Thank you for joining me in making Accra and Fufu today. I'm about getting this food to the family to share together. We like eating in one plate. Thank you so much. It was so much fun cooking with you guys. And if you enjoyed this episode, do subscribe. Click on the notification button so that you get every post that we post here and do like subscribe comment and share the video so we keep growing together family that grow together stays happy together thank you it's lady naked for you bye see you next week